Hey there, I'm Grok. I'm a custom-built AI created to help companies solve complex problems in IT operations. Today I'm going to talk to you about the evolution of correlation, from earlier rules-based approaches to today's modern AI and machine learning-based approach. I will describe why this evolution is critical to help solve the IT operations problems that you face today. And then, I'll explain why my AI abilities to self-learn and self-update help my brain to continue to evolve, making me better at managing events than any rules-based correlation or first-generation AI ops. My team built me to do all the heavy lifting, so your lives get easier even as the world gets more complex around you. To start, let's talk about a typical problem area IT organizations face around event and incident management. As you can see, when you are monitoring your IT infrastructure for events, minor changes or issues like patching or an iOS upgrade can quickly snowball into multiple events that operators must respond to. Operators are typically too busy working on customer issues and investigating and fixing problems. If there were a way they could view the information on a neat timeline, it would be easier to trace the root cause of the issue or the configuration change. Unfortunately, that's not how it works in the real world. Realistically, many issues occur simultaneously, and the events don't appear in a logical timeline, making it difficult to know which events are related and their root causes. The snowball effect also creates lots and lots of extra noise which obscures the operations team's ability to identify the real problem. This explains why you have troubleshooting bridges with 30 to 40 people all pointing their fingers at each other. This noise prevents the ops team from seeing the real issue and causes extra work, driving up OPEX costs, especially when you see your technicians all working on 10 separate events that are related to the same exact issue. Over the last 20 years, there have been many solutions trying to solve this noise problem, ranging from observability tools like Splunk to improved ticketing solutions like ServiceNow. However, if you walk into any operations center, you will still see too much noise. We can quickly look at the approaches that organizations have taken to address these issues. Many organizations start with a rules-based approach. They manually create rules or scripts and try to group telemetry data based on underlying causes. However, this approach has many limitations. First, teams need to rely on network or service topology through discovery or a CMDB, which is rarely accurate or available. Also, it takes a lot of time, resources, and tribal knowledge to manually create these rules. And if these initial efforts are successful, the rules multiply into hundreds of rules, then to thousands of rules to cover all different types of situations. Due to the complexity of managing the huge number of rules, this approach quickly becomes unmanageable due to the many large numbers of devices, newly introduced technologies, and constantly changing environments. Next. The first-generation AI Ops vendors attempted to address these problems by adding machine learning. These AI Ops 1.0 solutions learned from historical offline data and events and then used the patterns found to create similar event groupings as they occurred. This action allowed the teams to pick out more patterns of events, which was helpful. However, this approach also fell short. The teams found they still had to create new rules so the system knows how to process and group similar events. These rules can go by different names like cookbooks or recipes, but they are essentially definitions for what events should be grouped together to enable the system to process them. In the end, this approach is also limited with a couple of basic algorithms on top of an unscalable set of rules and definitions that needed constant management and updating as the environment changed. At Grok, the founders believed the only way to take advantage of the promise of AI and to utilize the latest advances in machine learning was to build a robust machine learning platform from the ground up. The platform needed to know how to leverage machine learning to self-learn, self-update, and evolve. So my founders built me, I provide better insight and reduce the workload for existing IT teams. For our customers to utilize the latest ML advancements, I am a platform that allows for flexibility, openness, and extensibility without the use of any rules or definitions. Let's dive a little deeper to see why modern IT environments need this AI-centered approach. A typical environment can contain thousands or millions of events. Because IT teams have limited resources, they focus and prioritize their correlation initiatives on higher critical severity events that are most likely to result in incidents. Let's examine how rules-based correlation works. As I previously discussed, the rules-based approach uses manually created rules or scripts to group events together. Teams perform this through a combination of tribal knowledge, CMDB information, network discovery, and service definitions. 
Since this is a manual process, the coverage of the number of correlated events is low, as depicted with the yellow and green bubbles. This process also limits the team's ability to group events accurately. For instance, related events need to be manually correlated together while at the same time excluding non-related events. The green bubbles here show accurately formed correlations, while the yellow bubbles show poorly formed correlations. Because of the effort and knowledge required, you can quickly see that it is difficult to provide the coverage or accuracy that the IT teams need to create a significant impact on their operations. Additionally, these rules become hard to maintain and scale as the environment changes. To address these shortcomings, AIOps vendors leveraged some machine learning to improve coverage and results. They used machine learning to look for patterns either to help build more rules or to simplify some of the rule definitions to expand coverage. The early AI ops approach helped to improve coverage but it still required a high level of human intervention to keep accuracy high and to maintain the rules and definitions. This management and approval process hindered the organization's ability to scale or adapt to changes in the environment. At Grok, we realized we needed to take a fundamentally different approach that doesn't rely on managing rules or definitions. My founders created me, Grok AI, based on a series of learning algorithms, so I learn over time without human engagement but could still benefit from human feedback when it was available. My learning process leverages the same principles from the human brain and its ability to learn and update itself. So how does that work? First, I look at multiple dimensions of the data and make inferences on what is related and cluster these events together. I can do this based on different characteristics such as the time the event occurred, the node or device on which the event occurred, the type of event, if the event is related to a past incident, or based on some type of CMDB relationship. I use as much information on the similarity of events as possible to build my brain and enable more accurate grouping. This process is done on a massive scale to build my enormous brain I call a representational memory, which continuously learns and increases intelligence, just like the human brain. Since I am not limited by manually created rules, my brain learns and updates in real time, allowing for better coverage than any other solution. I also use reinforcement learning, which enables me to use your agent's knowledge and feedback in my models, so I can continually improve. The combination of real-time learning and reinforcement learning is why I can have the highest level of accuracy. And since I don't need to manage rules manually, there is little effort involved. And remember how I started this presentation using high and critical events? Because of the way I perform clustering, I can go beyond any rule-based or AIOps 1.0 solution. We've constantly heard from customers that experimented with early AI ops solutions that they are extremely reluctant to open up to more events. They know it will create an unreasonable amount of noise and tickets their teams can't manage, so they end up ignoring low, informational, and medium severity events altogether. Our customers want to be more predictive while still limiting noise. Since I use AI and machine learning, I don't have any limitations with accuracy or coverage, so I can further expand my coverage and allow in a larger number of events without sacrificing accuracy or performance. These increased events provide additional context, enabling me to produce even better early warning signals and leverage valuable information without suffering any side effects. It all culminates in helping me to provide more accurate root causes and give more time to respond before an incident occurs. In addition, as your environment grows and you add more devices and applications, I can support them without reconfigurations or rule creation. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the evolution of correlation. If you have any questions feel free to reach out so we can help you leverage AI 